Hello, my name is Sharon and I'm the Trade Commissioner here in Osaka, Japan, looking after our education work here. In 2020, the international education sector experienced a lot of disruption due to COVID-19 um, and this also impacted heavily on student mobility. Um, in Japan, the ELICOS sector is usually making up about half of all student commencements. However, last year, unfortunately, it experienced declines of around 50%, um, making it the hardest hit sector. We've not seen a lot of take up from Japanese students to do online programs, um, basically because living in Australia and experiencing the culture is really part of the experience for them. Um, also in Japan, there are so many domestic companies that are providing English training of all different types online, making it a really competitive space. Having said that, uh, where we do see opportunities for Elicos providers is in uh, creating virtual study tours for universities and high schools. Um, even with borders open in some countries, uh, Japanese are very risk averse, so they won't feel safe sending their students overseas until COVID is in, in a much better position than it is right now. And Australia is really in a great uh, place to offer virtual study tours to Japan, thanks to the small time difference between the two countries. In terms of higher education, we've seen a very different scenario in 2020. Enrolments actually increased by 4% um, and the growth was primarily at the undergraduate level, which is where we have been seeing growth for the last three or four years, although it has slowed down in 2020. It was about six or 7% prior to the pandemic. Online study in Japan has never been the norm. Um, however, it is slowly changing as the pandemic continues. And agents report to us that students who are in international schools or IB schools are the most likely to decide to take up an online degree from an overseas university, as they were always intending to study with an overseas university. For others, um, they are more likely to want to study only one or two semesters online and then look to transition to studying on campus when this is possible again. In the online environment, student support is critical. Some education agents have told us that students are discouraged or they're giving up um, studying online uh, when they feel that they're isolated or they can't keep up. Having regular touch points with each of your students and providing them with the necessary support, such as language support, uh, study support, mental health support, um, is regarded as the most important factor for Japanese students when they're deciding whether or not to study online with you. Finally, I'd just like to mention our study fair, which is on the 22nd of May. Uh, due to COVID-19, uh, the fair has gone virtual this year, um, like many other things in our lives, and we've decided to make it even more cost effective for institutions by uh, working together with our colleagues in Korea, Mongolia and Hong Kong uh, to put together a fair where institutions can meet with students from all four countries in the one event. So if you're interested in finding out more, please take a look at the Austrade website or get in touch with us and we're happy to give you some more information. As always, uh, we're here to help you with your goals in the Japan market. So if there's anything we can assist with, please don't hesitate to get in touch. And we look forward to working with you in the Japan market. Thank you.